Hello, this is Pete or Kenshin1913 along with Mom. And this is another cooking with Kenshin1913. What are we making today? Skillet lasagna. Okay, well this is a kind of a quick step dish. So the things that you're going to need are some olive oil, um, chopped meat, some type of pasta, some kind of a curly pasta, nothing too, too big. Um, a can of tomato soup, a container of regatta, uh, oregano, salt and pepper, and some mozzarella. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. And I'm going to turn it on. Yep. And we're going to then put our ground beef in and start to cook it. Yep, so this is a quick uh, quick uh, recipe that we found from um, we found from uh, doing like uh, we were looking through a cookbook or whatever and this is our version but a little modified. I forgot what cookbook it was. So we're just gonna break up the chopped meat. And yeah, so this is a really simple recipe. You're gonna fry your beef, throw in some oregano, add the water or the tomato soup mix, some water. You put in the pasta, which is different. Usually with recipes like this, you don't throw in the pasta and it cooks in the sauce. But this this recipe actually is a little different because you cook everything right in one pan. Okay, as you can see, the meat is starting to brown up. And I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. And it's making its own juice. Yeah. So that's why you don't need a lot of um, olive oil. Right. Between the, the meat uh, kind of water and um, the fat that's in the meat. Right. I want to say that this, uh, this is a... This is 85. Okay, 85, uh, 15. Fat to, or meat to fat content. But yeah, at this point, you're going to want to start adding some oregano. Because, um, <clears throat> what is it? Want it to bloom in yeah. with the oils. And you're going to be using dried oregano. You could use fresh oregano, but you don't have to. Actually, dried and oregano is actually better. They've done... They've done studies on it. Now you're going to put about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons. You're just going to dump a bunch of oregano in there. I've never heard anyone say, oh, that has too much oregano. That's pretty good. Probably maybe a tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons. But yeah, so with the oregano, you're going to get it more of a, like a, you might think of a pizza sauce type deal, but when it's all said and done, it's going to taste really good lasagna-wise. Oh yeah, and I remember what what uh what cookbook I got this from. It was the uh, Campbell's cookbook. They do it. It's a it's called a beefy pasta casserole. But we don't even bother with the casserole part because what you could do after this is all said and done at the very end, you can yeah you can um, make it. Uh, you can put it in a pan and then throw it in the oven and let everything cook. But we don't even bother because it's just so good you don't even need it. Now this is something that you would probably never see in a uh, real Italian. Not that we're not real Italians, but so yeah, we're we're putting in what is a tomato soup mix. And believe me, the first few times that I made it, or the first time I made it, I said, oh no, this is not gonna, this is not gonna taste good. But my sisters had tried it, and so I said, oh, what the heck, you know, a fast a fast meal at night let's see um you know what it would taste like yeah. and it really does taste delicious um with the whole mixture and as far as a casserole what you could do is when this mixture is done now you can eat it you know right out of the this pan so it's kind of a one dish meal but you also could then take this cooked mixture 
put it in the oven with additional um, cheese on top. Okay, now this is three cans of liquid water. Right. And why you're putting that much in, because that now as you can see it's it's quite watery. We're gonna wait for this to come up no, to no, a boil. No, 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 you just throw in the pasta, right? Oh. Watch, this is why this is such a simple recipe. Is you don't even need for it to come up to a boil. Because you're gonna throw in the pasta, right? And then you're gonna take your ricotta and put it in there too. You're gonna mix that all around, and then you're just gonna put a cover on it and let it cook. That's it. And then you throw in mozzarella near the end. So I'm using, um, it's like a elbow that's curly and twisty. Right. You could use elbows. Pretty much, you don't want to use like a ziti or penne or anything. You want you want something that's gonna uh, that's gonna suck up that juice and and uh, just give it a nice texture. So now at this point, you're gonna put in that whole thing of ricotta. Which I believe is one pound, right? Uh, just shy an ounce of a pound. Yeah. You might need some more water. But yeah, you're just gonna... Well, no, don't worry about that, because you're gonna mix it around. Everything's gonna get mixed together. And then you're gonna put a cover on it, and you're gonna let it cook for about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, however long until the pasta's tender, then you're gonna throw on the mousse, and we'll show you. So, yeah. This is a quick recipe, I really like it, and honestly, I would never, ever, ever use tomato. There was no reason for us to have tomato soup mix, but honestly, it's not too shabby. Especially if you're looking for something kind of quick, and that's what we, we, we're doing, actually. Alright, so what my mom's just doing is going to break it up, and as you can see, it's starting to get a little more orangey, which is what you want. And the cheese is going to make everything very, obviously, cheesy, and... It's going to help with, uh, once once uh, the pasta absorbs some of the liquid, it's going to help thicken it as well. It's going to be all delicious. And once you get everything, everything uh, right now she's got on a medium heat. Once you get everything incorporated, you can put it to ice. You might have to actually, when you put the cover on, you might want to, um, you might want to mix it every once in a while so that nothing sticks on the bottom. But we're just going to leave this here like that. And we'll be back in about, well, we'll show you the progress. But we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay. So, so this look is what that. our pasta looks like. Look at that. Get your beef and your cheese. Your pastaronis. Now all we got to do, and yeah. So, what I would what I would say is that this recipe, the sauce, is going to be a little starchy. Might just throw in the cheese and then. I just want to see, show them how nice and it's, creamy. It looks. Yeah, creamy and it um, absorbed all that water. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to throw in our mozzarella. Yeah. And you're you're going to use like um, an eight ounce bag or. Um, Gonna, not, not, you just gonna throw all in there because you want to make it even more cheesier. I know. Anybody who's lactate intolerant, you better take a lactate. Yeah. But yeah, this is good stuff. This is probably about um, maybe a cup, cup and a half. So what you're gonna do is just mix it all up. Everything's gonna melt. You can even turn the heat back on. Like at this point, we shut the heat off, but um, you can turn it back on. It's gonna be ooey gooey. Yeah, that's what we want. And like we had mentioned before, you could actually take this at this point now and put it in a, um, a casserole pan right. and uh, bake it if you would like it, like you know, crusty on the top. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that I was thinking about, you know, tr in traditional lasagna, um, there's usually some pork as well. So I'm sure that you could you could use um, like half chopped meat and half ground pork if you wanted to right. in this recipe, or you can even make it vegetarian. Yeah, you don't even need the meat if it gets if you don't really want. It. Right. Okay, now we're gonna plate some, and look at that. Mm. You've got the telephone wires. Yeah. 
And yeah, it's gonna be really cheesy. I guess if you don't want all that cheese, you can you don't have to put all that cheese in there. But yeah, this is a nice little like if you want lasagna, but you can't. Yeah, you if don't, you don't have want the time. It's the summer, and you don't want to throw it in there. You can easily just make it this. Got all this lovely cheese. Yes. We really have a lot of food going. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, to make it look nice, you, you can some add fresh some fresh basil on the top. You can uh, put some fresh parsley on the top. Right. And there it is. All right, so here's our pasta. Once again, our skillet lasagna, and I'm going to take a bite, even though I'm I'm on a diet, but still, cheese and pasta, what are you going to do? Meat? Can't go wrong. That's good. That's very good. A lot of nice cheese flavor. You get the nice bit of beef. It's all good. You will never know that it's tomato soup. I know. That's why I'm like, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it's not <laughs> sauce. That's what they should call it. I've been Pete for Kenshin1913. Along with Mom, this has been another Cooking with Kenshin 1913. Enjoy and happy eating.